alive! It's alive! <laughs> it's alive! Yeah! Yeah, welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. Today's part seven of our fast electric RC boat build series. We're gonna actually be epoxying in a stuffing tube, quarter inch stuffing tube into the boat. I'm using a 0 .150 cable, so uh, so yeah, stick around, stick around. Don't blink, don't blink. Big B here with Ironclad RC. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know you guys are probably getting sick of seeing this boat every time I post a video. <laughs> it's coming to an end. It's almost done. I'm ready to see it in action. I'm ready to see it on the water, huh? <laughs> I know you guys are too. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna be using this quarter inch stuffing tube with a liner for our .150 cable. All right. I've already got the the stuffing tube bent trying to save a little bit of time i know this is being it's it's a long video series i wanted to make the series for some of you new guys um you know teach you how to build a boat you know and i wanted to include pretty much every aspect of it veterans a lot of you guys that's been in the hobby built a few boats yourself i know you probably know a lot of this stuff i try to include some tips that may help you guys out as well so uh so yeah let's get let's get it let's get it i've i used some um a piece of my my fiberglass laminate that i laid up to you know mock up my little uh stuff and tube retainer to keep it from moving around at the collet right here yeah i was really wanting to do the flooded stuff and tube and i was and i was about to do it you know i, I cut it down to size and to everything i was actually working on well i can't find it but i was working on an aluminum piece that you stick in the end that your stuffing tube goes through and uh, a flooded stuffing tube would have just give us a lot of up and down adjustability i was drilling it out a little bit bigger so i'd have more movement and when i did i had a pair of pliers on it and cracked it so that's out so i've got pretty much a, a good length here so i know how long i'm gonna make it all right that's going in there I actually stuck this end into my strut so I know how deep my stuffing tube goes into the strut. All right, and we're gonna hold this stuffing tube in place. Make sure it's gonna be the right length. It looks like it's gonna be perfect. You don't want a big gap where your collet is. You want it like basically a couple millimeters from your collet when it's fully unscrewed. That way you don't kink or roll your your, your uh, flex cable tubing cutter tube cutter here pipe cutter gives you a nice cut on the end where you cut it at it usually rolls rolls it over I use like a stepped bit or like a big like half inch drill bit in reverse all right That'll clean up the end of your tube. If you do it in forward, it'll like rip it. And we don't want that. So. Then I'll take my hobby knife, kind of go around it, clean it up a little bit. Okay, this is a brass stuffing tube, it's not copper. A copper stuffing tube, if you use copper, it'll it'll bend easy. A brass stuffing tube, it ain't going to bend easy. So you need a brass or stainless steel stuffing tube. Um, copper and aluminum is just a little soft, in my opinion. So you want it to come out in line with the ride pads. I've got it butted up against the collet right here, and that's too much of an angle, so I'm going to put a little bit more bend on it. Uh, I got the stuffing tube in place. It looks like it got a good alignment to my collet, to my motor shaft. Uh, let's check the strut here. Make sure it's going to be pretty much even with the ride pad. And it looks like it is. So, let's epoxy it into place. I'm going to go ahead and epoxy this guy right here in too. I've got it actually like tilted and uh yeah i think that's where i'm gonna put it at yep yep final answer yep looks good 
So, uh, so yeah, let's put some epoxy on it, huh? Yeah. So I'm going to use five minute on my little mount and I'm going to use five minute like in the middle right here. I'm not going to put five minute on the through hole on the transom there. I'm just going to put five minute here and on here and at the base of the retainer to kind of hold everything in place. And then I'll do my 24. You guys know how I do it. So, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get to it. Man, I am ready for this thing to be done. Holy moly. I think I've said that a few times in this video already. <laughs> you guys think I, I'm ready to get this done? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Am I ready? Am I ready to get the boat done? <laughs> Are you guys ready to get the boat done? I'm ready to see the damn thing in, in the water. I'm ready to see, see your fly. Huh? 50 knots and no smoke. Come on. <laughs> That's my goal. That's my goal with this boat, 50 mile an hour, you know, or what is it? 62.374 knots. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so yeah, let's get this thing going. Let's get it going here. I'm going to use the coffee stirring sticks, mix it up, Q-tips to clean it up. my collet unscrewed pretty much to its outermost position all right i've got my motor in the position it's going to be in the stuff and tubes lining up to it nicely i have my my flex cable in my collet i've got my liner in the stuff and tube the stuff and tube is in the strut everything's pretty much like i would be running the boat right now you know i've got this unscrewed so um, I know I'll be able to unscrew my collet all the way to get the flex cable out. You notice my retainer isn't going to interfere with the end of the stuffing tube. Um, I've got perfect alignment there, it looks like to me. And I think we're going to roll with it. So it's been about 30 minutes or so. I'm going to go ahead. This is a uh, 24 hour. Okay. Um, I've got a little funnel. That I made. Then we'll pour this in. Got it sitting right there in between my my hose barbs, and I'm gonna try to shoot it right in the transom, right in the transom back there. I used a five minute, like you guys seen, to make my little epoxy dam, and now we're gonna cross our fingers we don't get this shit everywhere. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> Who said rednecks wasn't smart? <laughs> Alright. So I hope it runs all out the damn back of the boat. I hope it runs through every little nook and cranny back there. You know? And, and fill it all in back there. Fill all. I'm going to keep it just like that all night long. You know what I mean? You see where it's sitting at back there? Let's see if I can get you in a little more here. So that's what we're looking for right there. See how it's dripping through that stuffing tube? I got the boat at an angle. All right. That's what we want. That's what we want right there. Good seal. She is a dripping. Oh, we caught it. The next day, it's all cured out. Most of all that epoxy I mixed up, leaked out. It's kind of what I wanted it to do. That's why I poured a lot in there. It, it sealed up the back back there pretty good. I'm just going to take a little bit of epoxy and kind of go around the stuff of tube. Also going to have to file some of the epoxy off, off of the stuff of tube because my strut won't go all the way. It won't go all the way up, so we'll have to file some off of there. And, uh, yeah, yeah. 
turned out nice turned out nice nice and solid see that moves a little bit probably because it's not cured up all the way let's see how the the shaft goes in there how the flex cable goes in it's all cured out as well jb welded the the stub shaft on oh yeah see nice alignment went right in see that perfect alignment oh yeah i'm just going to kind of clean up some of the epoxy you know tidy it up a little bit i gotta figure out where i need to file my flat spot at so i'm just going to put my the biggest prop i would be running on this boat i'm gonna put that on i got the bottom of the drive dog mark so i'll be putting my my flat spot about right there all right and make sure you got enough room for your nut to slide on and everything Slide our drive dog on. So I just took the opposite end of my flex cable and I slid it into the boat, into the collet. All right, marked it with a marker. Just gonna bend it over. And mark it on my cable always make it a little bit longer for error because we are human we are human now I'm going to double check it with my ruler six inches little make sure you leave a little gap make sure you have a little gap for your for shrinkage and your Teflon washer so you could thrust washer or whatnot yeah that's good perfect yeah yeah I got the Teflon washer in there all right I got my cable cut to size got my little two millimeter gap in between uh, that's gonna the Teflon washer is gonna prevent uh, radial loading on your on your front motor bearings on your motor so uh <laughs> yeah, that's a lie <laughs> all right so yeah yeah coming together coming together got the the head bolts blue loctited um got loctite on my collet greased up well halfway greased up i, I just kind of put some grease in there just to dry run um, got my ESC mounted up here. Just wanted to show you guys this before I let you go. My, it's adjustable. See that? It slides back and forth to help distribute weight in the boat. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so yeah. I appreciate you guys watching. Got, got it ready to go. I uh, just got to run water cooling and do the final setup. So I uh, see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Big B with Ironclad RC. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all yeah, that good Ring good. the bell to get notified for future builds, future projects. As always, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> it's a life. <laughs>